Let's see if we can find the Laplace transform of this function. You'll see it's a piecewise function, and if we want to take its Laplace transform, one way to do that is by using the step functions, or you might call them the unit step functions. So let's rewrite f of t using those. So the first one would be 0, and I'll show you the way that I do it. Your teacher might use a different notation for the step function. This is just the notation that I'm going to use. So the way that I think about this, this u signifying my unit step function, I think of it like a light switch, flipping on and flipping off. So where does this first piece, this 0, turn on, flip on? Well, it flips on when t starts at 0. So I would insert a t minus 0. Where does this 0 stop? In other words, I subtract the unit step function for where it flips off. Well, this first piece flips off at t minus 1. So think of the first value, a light switch flipping on, the second value, a light switch flipping off. And again, uh, you might use different notation. Sometimes you'll just see a u sub 0 or a u sub 1 here instead of the t minus. Uh, both would mean the same thing. How about this second piece? So I would have plus the second piece, t minus 1, and I do the same deal. Where does this second piece activate? Well, it activates at 1, so I put a u of t minus 1, and then I minus, to signify the function flipping off, at t minus 2. Last one, the third piece would be a t plus 1. It activates at two and uh, it goes forever so it never deactivates after it's turned on so there we go we've written this function in terms of its step functions and you could simplify this a bit uh, zero times anything is zero so this will all just go away and then i could just distribute the rest think about how the distributive law works i would have t times u of t minus one I would have minus t u of t minus 2. I would have minus u of t minus 1. And then I would have minus a minus to make a plus u of t minus 2. And then I also have this piece. If I distribute, I'd have t times u of t minus 2 plus 1 times u of t minus 2. So you don't have to do this distributive stuff as much as I did. I did it uh, just because I think it makes the Laplace transforms a little bit more straightforward. Your teacher might do it differently. You might be comfortable doing it a different way. This is just how I'm doing it in this example. Well, if you look at this, I have a plus t of u of t minus 2 and a minus t of u of t minus 2. Those are going to cancel each other out. And then I'm also having plus two of these, plus two u of t minus twos. So we can rewrite this. And we have our simplified function in terms of unit step functions. Again, you could factor out this u of t minus one. I just did it here for the sake of what makes sense to me doing the Laplace transforms. We're finally ready to do that, to take the Laplace transform of our function. And to do that, you have to memorize or you have to know or be able to look up how do you take Laplace transforms of functions when they have the step function attached to them. Well, the rule is if I'm taking the Laplace transform of u of t minus 1, that becomes e to the minus, in this case, 1s because of this minus 1 times the Laplace transform of the function, but evaluated at t plus that one. Or in other words, I have to shift by this amount. So since this one is minus one, this comes out to be an e to the minus s, and this function t gets shifted by that one in the other direction. Kind of interesting. Here, the Laplace transform of minus u of t minus 1. Again, same deal. We'll have an e to the minus s come out times the Laplace transform of 1. There's an invisible 1 here. And there's nowhere to shift the 1 because there's no t. There's no variable. 
I'll then have plus 2. Here we would have e to the minus 2s, the 2 coming from this minus 2, times the Laplace transform of 1 again. There's an invisible times 1 in front of the u function. Now these remaining Laplace transforms are fairly straightforward. You would find them on a table of Laplace transforms. So here we would have e to the minus s times the Laplace transform of t is 1 over s squared. The Laplace transform of 1 is 1 over s minus e to the minus s. The Laplace transform of 1 again is 1 over s. Here I'd have plus 2e to the minus 2s. The Laplace transform of 1 is 1 over s. And then you could probably clean this up. It looks like since both of these terms have e to the minus s attached, and I have a plus 1 over s minus a 1 over s, this term will cancel with this term. I think we're just going to have e to the minus s times 1 over s squared plus 2e to the minus 2s times 1 over s. It looks like that's the Laplace transform of that original piecewise thing we were given. There was a lot of steps here, and you may have even seen a quicker or better way to do it. I'd be interested, you can let me know, but if there's anything you want to see again, feel free to re-watch, and I hope you have a great day.